Okay, so boom. So yesterday was the first day of the Senate confirmation hearing for the Honorable Auntie Katanji Intelligence Brown Jackson. And when I tell you some of these Republicans was given basic, it's like, who voted for you? Because at this point, having congressional leaders with a little bit of dignity and class apparently is just too much to ask. So I guess the solution is voter suppression. Yeah. Anyway, so yesterday was the first day of the statements. And so this is how it go down, right? So basically all the leaders, they pull up and they be like, hey, girl, hey. Right, congratulations on the position. Woo -de -woo. You feel me? Thank you. It's good that you got this far. So here's the deal. We're going to get all of your business. All of your mix. Yeah, all of your mix for sure. Because this is what happens. If we give you this job, it's for life. It ain't really not going back on that. So we just got to make sure, you know, we check you out. Make sure you're right. Ati was sitting there giving like pretty intelligence. But she gave a face like, um, this is not my first, second, or third time doing this. This is the fourth time. So go ahead and run it. And for the most part, the leaders kept it cute and classy, but you definitely had a few folks where you could tell that common sense and intellect are just not their strong points. Mm -mm. Like Mr. Mediocre Hall Pass, um, the senator from uh, Missouri. Yeah, him. So look, check this out. The Honorable Auntie Kentonji Brown Jackson has over 570 written opinions, okay? And so, little mediocre hall pass, mm -hmm. he was concerned about seven child not-so-cute cases that Auntie had, and she basically sentenced the defendant to 60 months in prison instead of 72 months in prison. But my whole thing is this, where was this energy when crying Kimberly was sentenced to 16 months for, like, literally killing somebody when the recommendation was seven years? Okay, meanwhile, let's not forget that Justice Coughdrop and Justice Claire Bear, oh yeah, they had some not favorable allegations popping up when they got their job. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then Justice Claire Bear, his wife is literally out here defending the foolery that happened on January 6th. So this is the deal. I just wish the mediocres would find better seats because Congress ain't it. It ain't it, but this is what happened when we don't vote. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because then everybody and their mama end up in government with absolutely no business being there. Yeah, but anyways, so this is why Auntie is the perfect person for the job, okay? Because when it was her time to shine, baby, she did that, okay? And you cannot tell me that Olivia Pope did not put her up on game the night before the hearing because Auntie's opening speech knocked down every ounce of the mediocre foolery that was thrown her way. And I was just sitting there watching it all because I'm like, she did it with so much class. Like, literally, if when they go low, we go high with the person, it's the honorable Auntie. Because she did not pop her neck not one time. She did it because, you know, sister like me, I would have had to say everything I had to say with my chest and my neck at the same time. Like, I didn't even know it was possible not to do that after somebody tried you the way they was trying her. Like, do they teach that at Harvard? They got to have a class for that for sure because she just did it flawless, flawlessly, just flawlessly, right? So the honorable auntie, you know, she thanked her mama and them. She thanked her husband. He was over there crying. and thought it was cute, right? Then she put us up on game. She like, yeah, so my name means the lovely one. And I was like, ooh, yes, auntie. Because isn't it lovely that regardless of the other stuff Republicans got going on right now, it's enough Democrats to uh, confirm you anyway? Mm-hmm. Cool. So one thing she did mention was how she had a hard time. You feel me? Like she had to make some hard decisions, balance that being a mama and being a working woman. And I was here for that because she kept it real. And that was just true black girl magic for a queen like me. So anyways, I'm gonna keep y'all up to game on the rest, but I'm gonna dip right now. Thank you. Bye.